G'day swingers, guess what, oh, I've got freedom, I'm allowed to go swinging, uh, we have two hours a day of exercise or recreational activity, oh, thank you, that's all we needed, it was a bit of wreck, recreational activity is all we wanted, uh, so I'm just checking out a block here, as you can see, just behind me there, wicked old block, it's been demolished many months ago. Uh, we've got a foreign investor who's doing this one, so I'm going to get over it and quickly see what's on here first. Have a look at this. So as you can see, we've got the beautiful old bluestone uh, alleyway. And would you believe that? There's a shotgun shell sitting on the surface. <sighs> what the f... Oh, fingers crossed there's some old stuff on this block then. I think I'm going to run home and grab that detector. I'll see you shortly. All right, that makes it a little bit more weird and eerie. So that's actually out of the shotgun cartridge, and that's just sitting right there on the surface. I've just kicked it out. As you can see it was sitting just like so. But that's very odd. Excuse me, sorry. I have a shotgun shell and the wadding out of it just <laughs> lying on the block. I haven't even got the detector with me at the moment. Oh, well, as I said, I'll grab that detector and I'll I'll get back here. I will apologise in advance for the wind that we've got today. It's quite a windy area. See you shortly. Okay, so we're on site again and I've had a few targets. I've literally just started in the front corner here. As you can see, it's got a bit darker. Um, and I've sort of worked across to there, come back here, thought I'd just check the driveway properly before I continue on. And, uh, as you know, there's another shotgun cartridge that's floating around on this property. So, uh, that's a little bit worrying. Oh, I'll keep swinging. Oh yeah, and this is why I start in the front yard near the driveway. Because you usually get onto coins very quickly. And my first coin in ages is a 1949 Rue Penny. Ah, oh, feels good to be able to dig some coins. So hopefully I can find some nice silvers in the front here. It looks like the ground's pretty kind to these coins. All right, I'll keep swinging. Back to shortly. And if you don't believe it, there's where the penny came from. Just here, I didn't even move. I got a brown bugger. So, there's definitely coins in the front yard. If you ever do demolish blocks and get permission for them, go for it. Smash that front yard. The front yard's where the coins are because most people walk around their front yard. And if you look for the key features like your letterbox, your driveways, that's where most people walk, so that's where you want to be going in and have a look for the coins. Swing it on. Right, I think I just found the world's smallest lipstick. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, yep. It is. Look at that. It actually still opens. That is the tiniest little lipstick I've ever seen. That's pretty cool. I'm going to clean that one up. And put that on display. It actually has I think there's a letter G on the top. E maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, quite a nice little find. Swing it on. Alright, look at that for a perfect reveal. I literally put the shovel on the ground, popped it in. And if you look carefully, there's an impression here and a coin sitting directly on my shovel. How good is that? So rang up a solid 30 on the Knox. Uh, I've got a Queen Elizabeth penny here. So a brew penny. I apologise for the wind in advance. It's picking up right now. I'll turn around. There we go. Should be less wind for you. As you can see, pretty cruddy. But it's a brew penny. Should be 1954, I reckon, roughly. Uh, what year have we got? Uh, I think it's 57. Yeah, 57, so I wasn't far off, but we'll keep swinging, see what else pops out. And how do you like those apples? Next one, silver in the clod. We get ourselves a sixpence here, and this one's a KG6. But I love it, as you can see. It's just fractured right across that line. There's a nice step there, so we're just going to go dink. No planting here. I don't do none of that. I have too much fun trying to find these. 
Uh, now I've got my silver container, so I'm just going to have to put these in dirty and hope they don't get too scratched on my way home. I've got eight minutes of footage left, so we'll make this quick and I'll be selective. Back to you soon. Alright, so if you just keep following the driveway areas, you'll find a lot of coins. So I haven't moved very far at all. I've only literally been just over here, where you're just in the shadow. I come up here, I found the silver thruppence, uh, sixpence over there. Penny and one cent piece over there. Work my way up. Coin. And... Looks like we might have a penny. Yeah, we got a rue penny. A 1950 on the dot. 52, sorry. So that might be first year of Queen Elizabeth II. But uh, I'm not fussed. I'll keep swinging. Back to you shortly. Uh, I just found something. It was an absolute screaming signal. And this has really got my attention. It came up 27 on the Knox. And uh, I don't know about you. But that doesn't look very lead-like to me. Um, give me a second, I'm just trying to put my bottle back in my bag. That doesn't look too lead-like to me. That looks very pure. Um, it's not quite as heavy as, as lead would be, so I'm going to have to clean that at home, because if that's silver, holy shizer. Swing it on. The work in the same line, and I believe I have another silver. If you see there, it's very hard to see at the moment, but it's got a rimmed edge. Oh yeah, silver. Oh, I love that. And as you saw, there's definitely no planting these. You can't put them in layers like that. 1926 sixpence, KG5. Oh, you little ripper, that's two sixpences today. First time out in a long while and I'm only half an hour in. Well, probably about 40 minutes. So I've got to keep an eye on the time because I only have two hours I'm allowed out and I've got six minutes left of filming. So, see you soon. Alright, so I've got another target. I've got a coin impression here, but the coin dropped out somewhere. I don't know where it ended up. But I was just breaking it up on top here. And it dropped out somewhere. Okay, that looks like the other side of the impression. Ah, there we go. A two cent piece. So, another brown bugger. Oh, I don't mind, I've got two sixpence. Very nice. Swing it on. Not even 30 seconds later. And I've got another brown bugger. Little one center. So, as you can see, I keep finding him in the clod today, which is good. As you know darn well, I don't plant my coins. I love the hunt too much. There's no way I could plant them, it would disappoint myself. Swing it on. And we got ourselves another brown bugger by the look of it. I know it's probably hard to see right now, but right in there. Oh, that's a halfpenny. That's even better. So, first half penny. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. That's actually in really good condition. There's copper coming through already. I won't rub that anymore. I'll wait till I get home and clean it. Swing it on. Literally, there was the half penny. And that there was the two cent piece. So, I'll keep swinging. There are coins galore. And, yet again, in situ. You see how to break that. There's a two center. Swing it on. Right, I believe I found where the front path used to be that led out onto the nature's, uh, to the footpath where the letterbox would be. Because I've just been working down this line and then I went up, got nothing, turned around, came back. And right here, we got ourselves a brilliant condition, 1947 Rue Penny with a great patina. So, I'll keep swinging down this line. In about an hour left, and I have to get out of here. Well, I'm glad I went back over the area I just did, because if you look just down here, right there at the tip of my finger, we got a thrip. So, another bit of silver today. I love myself sick. This is a wicked day out. Small area, I got three bits of silver. Plenty of pre decimals. That's what I love. So I've got about three minutes left of my video, so I'll be very quick. Uh, and I'll only show you if I find some pre decimals. Swing it on. 
Alrighty, so it's the next afternoon, uh, Monday night, I've gone to work, come back and I found that I had some pay dirt. So I've been busy doing that first, uh, that will be coming out very soon, not sure when, but as you can see, all the lovely coins we got, first time out in a, in a long, long while, one itch that really needed to be scratched, and I picked the perfect block to do it on. Uh, as you can see, we got the three silvers, we got a 1950 threepence, a 1926 sixpence, and a 1951 sixpence. So this one and this one are 50% silver, this one's 925, you can tell by the slightly different colourant. Uh, we got a 1943 half penny, we got four pennies, three two centers, and three one cent brown buggers. Uh, and as you can see, I was running the Equinox six inch coil. Uh, the 6 inch coil on demo sites where there's a lot of trash is awesome. It's your best friend, trust me. You can bounce between the targets and you can really hear, um, like for instance the Thruppins, they're a very small target, but you can hear them between the trash. Uh, you just got to, if you catch that tone, just step around it and just make sure you double check the tone from multiple angles. Don't just assume, oh no, it's a bit of crap. Check it from double, uh, multiple angles, and sometimes you'll find the sweet spot where it'll pull up the exact ID that you want for that coin. It's almost, you're coin shooting, but you're just being very specific about your targets. Uh, but as you can see, it definitely works. Very happy to have been out. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode. It's, it's really good to be back. Uh, and I will be back next week with another coin shooting episode as I still can't go gold prospecting for a little bit but I don't mind there's still plenty of coins around and I've been itching to do some coin hunting for a little while thanks again for watching I'll see you next week I almost forgot this bit here so still not sure what it is could be some alloy it could be silver I'm not too sure um, if you look at the color of my sterling rings that I've got on my finger this one's stainless but these two here, you can see they're very close in colour, so it could very possibly be silver. Um, now, let's just give you a weight on that. It's 2.42 ounces. So, not sure at this point in time, but I'll get Ninja to take uh, his uh, silver acid test kit, and we'll see what this is, and I will put a post up on my Facebook later on, and let you know in a video in the future what this turns out to be. Thanks for watching. We'll catch us next week. Salada.